Lucina, how may I serve you? I need you to travel to the third planet in the galaxy of the Yellow Sun. It's called Earth. And our mission there? To find a man. A Kryptonian who has powers beyond anybody on that planet. He is the son of Jorel. They call him Superman. Our master's army is ready to invade Earth, but he could be a major impediment. Now we either need him on our side or gone. Understood. Recruit or neutralize. is out of joint, as Shakespeare said. World leaders have shown themselves to be deranged criminals, financial stability has collapsed, and races are divided. Even nature has betrayed us with disasters across the globe. In the past, mankind has leaned on great figures of history and legend, but we have turned our backs on ours, even betrayed them. As a result, there is no protection, no justice. Now, more than ever, we must ask ourselves, where are the heroes? Join me tomorrow night at 8 p.m. for a very special sit-down with one of the most controversial figures in modern history. Hey, princess, are you ready to try with something that hits back? Ready to get your butt kicked, lefty? Oh my god, I'm so sorry, sweetheart. I did not mean to. Sweetheart, I really didn't mean to. I just got a lot on my mind right now. I'm control, Diana. You of all people should have control. And you know it. I'm sorry, babe. Can I make it up to you? Didn't mean to interrupt. I'm Captain Hal Jordan. I'm from the Pentagon. You, uh, you called us? I called Amanda Waller. Yes, and Miss Waller contacted me. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna leave you two to whatever government shit you need to talk about. Wait. It's all right. 
I have a warm bath and a glass of Merlot waiting for me at home. You mind locking up? Sure. Okay, you can drop the keys off later. back? My apologies. I have orders to operate under the radar. To what end? Well, to inform you that you're not the only soldier who can deal with extraterrestrials. See, about a year ago, I was recruited by an intergalactic police force to guard this very sector of space. I was training in a distant solar system, and now I'm back to serve as the Green Lantern. The Green Lantern? That's right. See, the intergalactic police force is called the Green Lantern Corps. They're amazing. Thousands of years ahead of us. Uh -huh. So let me get this straight. These super-evolved space cops who are capable of protecting entire galaxies sent you here to protect Earth, armed with a lantern. <laughs> now you see, the lantern is used to charge this. Brightest day in blackest night. No evil shall escape my sight. Let those who worship evil's might fear the Green Lantern's might! Huh? Ta-da. <laughs> yeah, listen, I understand that the oath is it's pretty corny, but um, I mean, the get up? I mean, look at this. You look fucking awesome. Yeah, and so much for under the radar. <laughs> right. Listen, Diana, I am I'm here, okay? And I'm willing to fight with you. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Relax, Hal. My golden lasso will tell me if you're being truthful. Okay. Go for it, Wonder Woman. Mm -hmm. I do sense bravery. Thanks. And valor. Hmm. What is your purpose here? To determine the extent of the threat that you've discovered and help you defend Earth and its inhabitants. What are your powers? This ring gives me immense powers and abilities by harnessing my willpower. You see, I can fly over Mach 10 in atmosphere just by creating an aerodynamic envelope around myself. Now, if I'm towing another person, it's just twice the speed of sound, which is 1,440 miles per hour. And I'm just, you know, just putting that out there in case you wanna you know, go for a ride or something. Mm -hmm. uh, and what are your weaknesses? Weaknesses, I don't, ah, yellow. Yellow? <sighs> yeah, yellow. Look, because of a yellow impurity inside of my lantern, Inside of its power core, you know, it just doesn't affect things that are yellow. It's super dumb. Yeah. Yeah, it is. What else are you not telling me? Nothing. Oh, um, I think you're extremely attractive and I really want to kiss you, like, really, really bad. A galactic conqueror with a powerful army is coming. His name is Darkseid. <laughs> Darkseid? 
<laughs> oh, man. You know, I, I thought, you know, the Green Lantern was a pretty cheesy one. But Dark Side? Like, who comes up with these names? Dark Side. Like, what? It's actually spelled S E I D. Oh. S E I D. Okay. Well, that's that's a totally different thing then. That's that's wow, that's terrifying. What are we going to do? Just cut the sarcasm, Hal. This is serious, and we need all the help we can get now that Batman retired. What about Superman? Still a man. Far from super. I was expecting the fortress of a conqueror. Just because the radioactivity monitor shows a high concentration of kryptonite doesn't mean he's anywhere near. In fact, he's probably very far away. The green rock is actually harmful to him within Earth's atmosphere. I guess we had to start somewhere. Hmm. Maybe not so far. <sighs> A Kryptonian warrior who dwells among styes and manure. Nope. Name's Kent. Born and raised on this farm. <laughs> Not according to my scanner, Kal El. It's weird. I've come here to ask you to join my master and rule this planet. Yeah, for that I'd have to care what happens outside of these fences, and I don't. You no longer protect this world? Just this farm. Who are you? My name is Knockout. I'm one of Darkseid's female furies from the planet Apocalypse. Superman. Don't call me that.
steady flow of this here hooch keeps me good old farm boy Clark. There's no Superman around here. You're drinking distilled kryptonite? Just enough to keep me grounded and powerless. So go back to wherever you came from. Or don't. I don't care. Kryptonite or not, my mother box still detects tremendous power within you, kal -El. Mothers always did like me. You can be seduced by the dark side. Not used to seeing you like this, Bruce. Not anymore, at least. What do you want, Diana? <laughs> it's Clark. Stealing kryptonite for him seemed like a merciful gesture. Yeah, and now he's addicted to it. He's, he's lost on that farm. He's crushed, Diana. Losing Lois was hard for both of us. But when Kara left, he felt like... He felt like a different kind of loneliness. I just, I didn't anticipate his desire to become human, to, to be permanent. The oracles of the Miskira are never wrong, Bruce. Armies for an overlord called Darkseid are near. Earth needs every hero that it has. Count the Batman out. What did you expect him to do, suit up again? His last run-in with the League of Assassins almost shattered his spine. It's true. Although I'm almost fully recovered. Yeah, well, Bruce has new priorities now. And we both do. You don't understand. Unless we unite, there's going to be no future to prioritize. And what the fuck do you know about the future? About life? About love? You're less human than Clark. Now get the fuck out of my house before I claw a frown on that pretty face of yours. There is a new crusader in Gotham. She's smart, different, strong. For fuck's sake, Kate Kane, good luck. Well, she and I don't exactly see cow to cow. Where do I find her? I put a tracker on her.
What the fuck? Your guy said the stuff was gonna be here and it is not here. Hey, it's not my guy, it's Sal's guy. Well, Sal's an idiot because it is not- My true identity is reason enough. Stand down. I'm only here to get you to join the heroes of Earth. Jacob Cain. He trained you and made you who you are. Men can be quite useful. You don't know jack shit! And spare me the pity and the rhetoric, please. I didn't mean to. I know that there is no healing of your wounds. But I need you. <laughs> oh, careful how you choose your words now. Oh? I'm gonna level with you, Wonder Woman. Bruce Wayne, he's the reason I became who I am. He's the reason why I continue to hurt people, to numb the pain. So what's that mean? Well, that means there's a real Green Lantern Corps. He could be a major asset to Earth's defenses. Mm -hmm. Just let it be. The Earth will always land on its feet. I gotta go, Selena. Mm -hmm. I have that meeting in Central City. We'll talk about this later. He's a renowned scientist, entrepreneur, 
politician and the world's wealthiest man for the 16th year in a row. This is his first interview since the impeachment and subsequent criminal charges. Please welcome former President of the United States, Alexander Luther. They still really love you, don't they? It's a good feeling, a mutual one. I've dedicated my life to building a better world for them. May I call you Lex? Everybody does. You've had quite the life so far. Child of the suicide slums, boy genius, industrialist billionaire by your early 30s, self-proclaimed czar of Metropolis. I I believe that was Perry White that coined that term, actually. And then the White House. A controversial campaign, an unexpected victory, and then the demonstrations began. Never in history has a commander-in-chief been so criticized, so vilified. How do you respond to such hatred? Well, Kat, first I'd like to thank you for having me here today. I'd also like to point out that uh, I resigned before the impeachment. And to this day, I still haven't been found guilty of any of the charges that were brought against me. And I can assure you that I will prove beyond any doubt that these allegations are just a product of the scandal-hungry press using fake news to develop alternate truths. Okay, just help me understand. We are responsible for your transgressions. Now that's not what I said. Well then you are saying that LexCorp, the company you never divested yourself of, is guilt-free in the bizarro genetics crisis, illegal weapon sales, and polluting the Atlantic Ocean. Proven as fact by Arthur Curry and his environmentalists. You say environmentalists. I say terrorists. We don't hear much from them anymore, do we? Suddenly, with me out of office, Mr. Curry just about vanished, and their issues are still standing. Yet his people don't seem to be pushing for reform anymore. Maybe it's because they're in the pocket of the Liberal Party. You didn't answer my question, Lex. And what about the allegations that you had something to do with Curry's sudden disappearance? That's preposterous. As a matter of fact, just this morning, I set up a $10 million fund to help find Mr. Curry, right along the Atlantic track where his ship disappeared. You can read all about it, www.findarthurcurry.com. That's very noble of you, but it doesn't undo the damage that you did during your presidency. Do you care to talk about cutting funding for Meals for Kids and the impact that had on global hunger? like to use this platform to publicly announce my intent to rectify some of those mistakes. By the end of the year, I will have liquidated 90% of all of my holdings and donated them to charities around the world. We estimate the amount to exceed $170 billion. So 
so now, as a renowned investigative journalist, would you be willing to look into the alleged ties between President Ross and the Environmental Party? Yes. Yes, I would. Mr. Wayne, I, I wasn't... I know, Barry. Don't worry. Hmm. I like what you did with the place. Yeah, I, I know. It's a little bit of a mess. I've I just been really busy on the costume project that you had me focus on. That's good. May I come in? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, of course. And thank you so much for setting me up at this lab. I, I know it's a little bit of a mess. Um, here, let me get you a chair. I'm okay. Thank you. Okay. So, uh, what speed did you reach this week? Oh, Mach 14, sir. Stability? 97%. It's good. It's real good. Thank you. Let's talk about the costume. The, the costume? No, right. Um, well, the goal is to find an engineer lightweight, ultra-thin fabric that can provide variable thermal resistance at supersonic speed. <laughs> that way I wouldn't get these nasty friction burns that I've been getting all over my body and what Yes. Yes, Barry. That's the whole idea. Right. And? Oh, y yeah, I, I got it. You got the fabric? Well, I, I, yeah, I got the fa I, I got the costume, too. You have the costume? Yes, sir. Well, where is it? Oh. Uh, in the ring? Yep. It's all in there. See, I developed a special cold cast polyester fabric that could be molded into miniature outfits from liquid materials sensitive to hydrogen. You know, once released, the materials absorb the hydrogen in the atmosphere, expanding to full size. Would you, um, would you like me to, to demonstrate it? By all means, please. Oh my god, Mr. Wayne, I, I am so sorry. I, 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 I am still working on a lot of the kinks to perfect the costume and whatnot and coming out of the ring. And, and just, I, I'm just Let's cut to the chase, Barry. We are facing a massive threat. Earth is facing a massive threat. I'm assembling a team of genetically enhanced individuals to help me defend the planet. Really? It's pretty cool. Wait, y y you want me to, to, to do... I need you to cancel your plans and come with me. There's something I have to show you. That grand bitch went too far. Shut up, Mercy. She knows about Curry or Supergirl. Everyone will if you don't pipe down. Highest ratings of the year. Only of the year? I'm so disappointed, Kat. <laughs> well, cheer up, Buttercup. The headlines are coming in. How was that for broadcasting mixed messages? Was it what you wanted? That's the kind of journalism that made this country great. I thought so. But Lex... Don't make me tell you again, please. Wait. I think it's time we changed your views on gender equality. Miss Graves. Care to join us?
simplest wish. Happiness. I thought I couldn't. I thought I couldn't love, or that I deserved love. And then I met Selena. That, that's your wife. She's expecting, right? I can't wear the cape again, Barry. I owe it to her. And the son she's carrying. They deserve better. So does Earth. That suit still fits you well, Bruce. I have to say I agree. It's an honor to meet you, sir. That's not why I brought you here. I haven't changed my mind. I just wanted you to meet Dr. Barry Allen. He has some skills that I think will be extremely useful to your team. And he'll be taking over the Batcave. <clears throat> I am? Barry is a brilliant scientist and has the full support of Wayne Enterprises. Can I talk to you in private? Yikes. Barry Allen. Diana, I really don't ah! What the hell is wrong with you, Bruce? Putting a kid in charge of the Batcave? You completely lost your mind. Trust me, he'll be a major asset. Don't judge him until you know what he can do. Come on now, you know you can't quit. I don't care how much you try to convince yourself. Don't you understand that we need you? My son needs a real father. He deserves a better life. Are you fucking blind? There won't be any life for him. Or any of us. We all going to be finished if we can't stop what's about to happen. I made a promise, Diana. Seriously. As if this would be the first time that you lied. Stole? Cheated? I got a, I got a ring too. Oh, look at that. Yeah. I, I, I have to. It holds a protective costume in it. Oh, you have a costume? It's a little cheesy, um, but, you know, I, I, I got to wear the costume in order to run in Mach 14 and stuff like that. You know, otherwise, I get these nasty friction burns, as you can tell. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, but no, no big deal or anything. Are you just going to just gonna tell me about it? Or are you going to... Do you want to see it? Yeah, I want to see it. You... Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Ta-da! Uh, yeah, that's awesome, but don't you need to, like, see? Oh, to... yeah. Done. All right. Yeah, what yeah. do you think? <laughs> you look awesome. Yeah, not bad, right? This is cool. Yeah, but uh, one question. What do you do with all your, you know, your civvy clothes are just kind of... Oh, uh, <laughs> those are, uh... You know, it's like a, 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 a work in progress, you know. Right. Yeah, working out the kinks, what they say. <laughs> right. Cool. Are you hearing that? Huh? That sound. Are you hearing that sound? Just, it, it, sorry, these, I know they look like ears, but they're really not. What did you say? Come here. I need to see why they call you Wonder Woman. Whatever it takes, Kate. <laughs> we stand for something. We stand for men, women, and their children. They must no longer fear abuse, or violence, or discrimination. All human beings have the right to live on this planet without threats. 
regardless of the color they were born with, the gender that they were born to, or the religions that they practice. And we are here to protect them, to unite them. But how can we do that if we can't even unite ourselves? An army is coming, gentlemen. And this is the time to show who we are. We may have lost Superman, but we have not lost our ideals, our purpose. You need a leader? Then I will lead you. So stop whining. Stop hiding. Stop pretending. It's time. It's time for us to come together. Pretty sure we just did. <laughs> uh, yes, we should. We should do that. <sighs> Cal, I knew you'd come. Hello, Diana. Bruce. Seriously? Do you forget where the front door was? Or do you just like to make an entrance? Hey, hey, hey Supes, I, I, I'm Barry. I just wanted to say that uh, that was just a really uh, cool looking costume you got there. Sorry, Diana. Looks like the almighty leader is back. Are you ready to lead us to certain death? Oh, I'll lead you. But first you need to realize what I already have. Earth does not deserve me. It does not deserve us. This planet is rotten down to its core. No matter how much we protect them or love them, they just create more hate, more fear, and more chaos. So if that's what they want, I'll give it to them. Metropolis, Gotham, I'll destroy them all. Together, we can teach them. Humanity needs to learn a lesson, and we can lead them. My friends, Darkseid is not the enemy. Well, that was awkward. Wait, am I like missing something here? I can't believe this. Cal, the people in this world look up to us. They listen to us, but they need to be inspired. And let's face it, Superman, the last time you inspired You think I didn't know, Bruce? Your betrayal was so cheap, so low. Oh, what a human trait. Even you're rotten.
think so. 